everybody. My name is Nestor Melendez and I want to give you some recommendations today. Is it safe to travel to Colombia? Are you coming here? Let me tell you everything about it. Right now, in Colombia, Nestor Tours. So many tourists have been asking me if it is safe to come over here to Colombia right now. So I am going to tell you the hard truth next on my show. So keep on tuned and I'll tell you everything right here from Cartagena de Indias. This guy is Adolfo Mejia. He's a famous composer of Cartagena. And in my back, Bellas Artes, the University of Fine Arts of Cartagena. So let me tell you, if you can come to Colombia and be safe over here, right now, at this precise moment in our history, welcome to Colombia Nestor Tours. So you may know by the news that right now Colombia is happening, is passing by a difficult moment because of many protests that were ignited because a tax reform that the government passed uh, to the Congress and uh, well it ignited many protests all around the country so you may have seen it in the news that there are many protests all around and it's true but i can tell you everything might be like uh, you see it like calm right now and uh, we can have many situations in many parts of the country i'm going to tell you about everything what's going on over here in my country and if you can come over here as a tourist to Colombia to enjoy the situation over here and to have a nice time this is Colombia Nestor Tours right here from Plaza San Diego in Cartagena de Indias my beautiful city right now in the meridian of the year 2021 the country is passing by through many protests what happened because the government passed a tax reform bill, bill that wasn't accepted by the people of Colombia and they ignited the protest. The government ignored the protest and the people went on to the streets. So the situation got a little bit worse and worse. The fever went up and it's been a month already with protests all around Colombia. Hopefully when you see this video everything will be count uh, a little bit but you know what there are many issues that have to be fixed over here in Colombia many social issues that have to be fixed by the society in Colombia and uh, well someday we will have to we have to confront them and uh, tell to the people of the world what was going on over here in my country You know what? We are a happy people country. Sometimes we don't know why we are so happy. But things happen over here and for sure, like Garcia Marquez, like the house I have in my back is the house of Garcia Marquez when he came over here to Cartagena. He always said that Colombia is like a vallenato. It's like a cumbia. 
it's a, it's just a magical realism that it ignites all around the society. And um, he was a writer that showed all what was going on in Colombia in many times of our history. But is it safe to come over here to Colombia right now? Well, my answer is yes. You can travel over here to Colombia and you will have no problem, especially here in Cartagena. Uh, the protests are not affecting the touristic area or the historic city. So there are no problems over here. The problems are of the society of Colombia that have to fix this issue sooner or later. Better sooner than later, actually. There are many things that have to be fixed over here in Colombia. I'm going to tell you some of the situations that we are happening right now. You know what? The education over here in Colombia, it is very good for the rich and famous and not so good for the poor people. So the more money you have, the better educated you are. There's less opportunity if you are from a lower class or from a lower society. And if you have money, you're the king. Yeah, that happens in all around the world. But in Colombia, if you have money, you're like the Don, you know? You have money here, you're like the Don. And that is a situation we have to fix in our country. It is a very unequal country. That is totally true. Actually, it is one of the most unequal countries in the whole world. And the society is checking it out. You know, now there are more poor people than before. And the middle class has subdued uh, and uh, turned to be poor after the pandemic, poorer after the pandemic. So there are less middle class and to be rich it's very difficult in Colombia to turn into a, having a lot of money. So many people dedicate to illegal activities like uh, narco traffic, yes, or like corruption, or like traffic of wild species, or guns, or gold. Many traffics that we have over here in Colombia and uh, that people want to make money so they can be respected by the society. So here if you have money, you're respected. You become a Don and there's no problem with that. But if you are a poor guy or poor people, if you don't have no money, you're not as well respected as if you have the money. And sometimes people don't ask where the money comes from. Sometimes people just, oh, he has money. It doesn't matter if he made it like trafficking or corruption money or whatever. If he has money, I gotta treat him like a don. And that is one of the problems of the society. We have to fix that. It is not easy. For sure, we have been trying for a long time to do it. Well, actually, Cartagena may be an example for that. Look at this beautiful city. That in front of me is a high school. It's a school you can see over there. It's the Colegio Salesiano San Pedro Claver. And it is uh, one of the better high schools of Cartagena. 
and it is a, like a middle class school. It's a private school, but they don't have to pay like a very high tu tuition because it's from the Salesianos, the order of the Salesianos. But uh, this is one of the exceptions in Colombia. Mm, the education in Colombia, if you want to get a very good education, you got to pay a lot of money. And uh, normally, like middle class, uh, don't study in public schools because they're not very good. So normally middle class spends a lot of money educating themselves at private schools. Like this one, this is not as expensive, but uh, many of them are very, very, very expensive. And it takes away a big chunk of money of the people, of the middle class, when they want to study over here in Colombia. Other of the issues is that unemployment is very high and the pay is not a very good pay. The minimum wage is uh, very, very low comparing to other nations of the world. And also, there's not a lot of employment, of, of good employment, like with all the benefits and everything. Mm, it is very difficult to get one of those jobs over here in Colombia. And uh, actually people doesn't live at all with the minimum salary so they do some side jobs to get along and so they can eat and pay the rent and pay all their expenses all around why we are happy i don't know i really don't know i would like to know why we are so happy over here in colombia it's difficult Hola, ¿cómo están? How are you? You yeah, speak yeah. English? No, yo hablo so, español. So, so, you speak English, yeah? Español. Ok. ¿Qué tan difícil es ser joven en Colombia? Muy difícil. ¿Por qué es difícil? Porque no Por las oportunidades. oportunidades. ¿No hay oportunidades? No las hay. ¿Tú cuántos? Solamente para el que tiene plata. Para el que no tiene plata, estamos fregas. Si uno tiene plata, si la gente tiene plata, le va bien. Exactamente. ¿Y ustedes qué tal es la educación que ustedes reciben? ¿Cómo la sientes? Bueno, yo estoy estudiando en una universidad pública porque hice un examen y pues lo pasé. Y ajá, quedaron como 5 mil personas sin entrar a la universidad porque los cupos son muy pequeños. Entonces se puede imaginar la juventud que puede estar por ahí sin estudiar. ¿Tú eres de raza negra? ¿Hay racismo en Colombia? Acaba, acaban, acabamos de celebrar los 170 años de, de la declaración de, de la abolición de la esclavitud en Colombia. Sí. ¿Tú eh, crees que hay racismo? ¿Tú a veces te has sentido...? Yo creo que sí, todavía hay gente que padece de eso. Todavía no lo superan y no lo entienden. Y no entienden el poder que hay en este color. <risa> <risa> ¿Ustedes tienen, sienten futuro? ¿Tú sientes algún futuro...? Cercano, ¿qué estás estudiando tú, por ejemplo? Derecho. Derecho. ¿Y tú sientes que tienes futuro como abogada y sientes que tienes, que tienes oportunidades y futuro? No sé, no creo. No creo porque, digamos que como litigante, pues sí. Pero es que eso es muy peleado. Y digamos que para acceder a, a puestos públicos, por ejemplo, a ser docente, que es lo que quiero, tendría que pasar por muchas cosas. Porque aquí en Colombia este, ya no se trata de lo que tú estudias o de lo que haces, sino de las relaciones que tú tienes. Si tú no tienes una palanca, tú no trabajas. Hola, ¿les puedo hacer una pregunta? Hi, how are you? ¿Cómo están? ¿Bien? ¿Cómo les ha ido? Chévere. ¿Qué han hecho? ¿Chévere? Ustedes eh, son bastante jóvenes. ¿Ustedes qué opinan de, de lo que está pasando ahorita en Colombia? ¿Ustedes sienten que, que hay oportunidades para salir adelante o, o está difícil? Está difícil. Está bien difícil. ¿Está bien difícil? Claro. ¿Ustedes son profesionales? No. ¿No? ¿Y eh, quisieran estudiar? ¿Quisieran que su hija fuera profesional? Claro. ¿Quisiera que mis hijos fueran profesionales? ¿Que sus hijos fueran profesionales? Los dos son de sus hijos. Sí. Ok. ¿Y usted lo estuvo bien joven, no? ¿Ah? No. Sí, usted es bien joven. Sí, no. Claro. ¿Y, ¿Y usted qué opina de la situación para ellos? ¿Qué futuro les ve? Bueno, la verdad es que no veo ningún futuro aquí en Colombia. Pues ninguno. ¿Cómo está la situación? 
hay mucha desigualdad. Digamos que sí. ¿Qué futuro ves para ellos? ¿Qué piensas de, de ellos y, y cómo ves el futuro de, de él y de ella? ¿Qué te, pues ahí le puedo decir, bastante complicado. Aquí, para que un pobre tenga oportunidad de salir adelante, está difícil, bastante difícil. Y supuestamente, universidad pública, hay una y no es ni pública porque hay que pagar. Si es por el SENA, también todo es por medio de... de como le digo, de, de palanca y todo eso, o sea, que no hay oportunidad. Lamentablemente no hay oportunidad. ¿Ustedes han sentido en algún momento que los han maltratado por uh, racismo o por clase social? ¿Se han sentido como, como que las personas los puedan tratar menos? Como... No, 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 no. Perfecto, muchas gracias. Gracias, mi Hola. So this is very Colombian, I'm gonna tell you about it. So what we've been talking about is, this is the most Colombian thing you can say. Así es la vida. So that means such is life. This guy sells coconut over here, at the downtown of Cartagena, at the center of the city. And I might tell you that he expects situation to be better. ¿Esperas que las cosas vayan mejor? Harry, ¿cómo sientes todo? ¿Cómo sientes que va la situación? What do you think about the country? ¿Qué, qué piensas del país? ¿Cómo piensas que ves el país? Los presidentes. Ok, everything is uh, embolatado, the president. <laughs> embolatado is means like it, everything is troubled up by the president. So it's very difficult, es muy difícil vivir en Colombia. Bueno, hasta el momento no se puede vivir todavía. Ok, you can live still over here in Colombia. Te voy a hacer una pregunta, tú eres eh, negro, ¿tú has sentido racismo en Colombia? No. ¿No? no. ¿Nunca has sentido racismo? No, nunca. Eh, hace 170 años se eh, liberaron a los esclavos en Colombia, sí, José sí, Hilario sí, López. Sí, sí. Eh, o sea, ¿nunca has sentido discriminación? No, aquí todavía no. Aquí a tu momento ahora, de que yo, con la edad que tengo yo, no la sentí. En la, en la vieja sí hubo discriminación. Con el negro. Okay. <laughs> Siga por favor a hacer el uso de la pauta.
control en él. here from the clock tower and the Plaza de la Paz. This is called La Plaza de la Paz, the Peace Plaza. And we hope really to have peace in Colombia for the future of all of us. This is Nestor Melendez for Colombia Nestor Tours, expecting to have you here in Colombia with us in a vacation. Remember, you can book my tours. You can uh, make a reservation in my email, nestormelendez.tours at gmail.com. And also, you can write me comments in the comment section. Please like and subscribe to my channel. That will be very helpful for my channel and for all the things I do for Colombian tourism. Over here from Colombia, Nestor Tours. My name is Nestor Melendez. Have a great time. Gracias, caballero. Ya le podemos.